So let's say if we have the names of fruit, let's say apple, orange, lemon, and a banana. So equal if. So the logical tests will be based on cell B3. So if B3 is an orange, I want Excel to tell me that it's true. If it's not an orange, I want it to tell me that it's false. So here this is false because it's not an orange. And I'm going to extend it. Notice that I do get a true statement for this being orange. If I change this to orange, it becomes true. If I change that to an apple, it becomes false. And so that's one way in which you could use the if statement. You can also use it to say something other than true and false. So let's say if cell B3 is a lemon. So for words, you need to put it in quotation marks, comma. Now instead of typing true, I want to type in yes. So I have to put quotations yes. And the next one I could type in no, or I could say it is not a lemon. Whatever I decide to write here, it's going to replace the word false with that statement if it's not true. So here I don't have a lemon, so it is not a lemon. And now I can extend this. This one is an output of yes. Like and follow for daily tips.